Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a collection of jars, a coloring book by Camille Bell. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Now I did see this coloring book on Camille's YouTube page. I'll go ahead and link it below. And you can actually get this in a black background or a white background. I chose to get the black background. It just makes it easier for me. Um, and it did, did come a little curled on the edges. I don't know if you can see it right there, um, but that doesn't take away from the coloring book <laughs> experience for me. Uh, there are no duplicates in here and there are 50 unique images to color. It is single-sided. So we're just going to jump straight into it. And I like it because all of the jars and the bottles are different. Um, and the images to me are very whimsical. I will need to train it so that it lies properly, but it doesn't go to the edge, which is good. I don't know if you can see it, but this printed one does have some lines in the black. This first page did not, but I mean, that's no reason for me not to keep this. And uh, on Camille's flip through, she does go about uh, talking a little bit more about what her uh, inspiration was but I like that when you see some of these pages the juxtaposition between what's going on in the page um, is quite interesting like this smiling turtle on top of these rocks I think is really cute I do plan to color some of these images for Olga Ronnie's March 2022 monthly prompt of share a smile like this little bunny rabbit is smiling um, because I, I do want to have all of my coloring books have completed pages in it. I don't necessarily care if I have whips. And so I'm just going to be flipping through with you guys. Again, if you want to hear a little bit more about the story, uh, you can uh, check out Camille's page. I like the Loch Ness Monster. I don't know that I have any other book with a Loch Ness Monster in it. I do like the composition of the various jars and, and containers because it gives you a sense of a frame, but it doesn't necessarily detract from the imagery here. Like, honestly, I sometimes forget that these are in jars and containers until I look at the top of the page. Not sure how that little elephant got on the big mushroom, but it's a cute picture. I'm not a huge fan of dinosaurs, but I think this one is really cute because it's like he's playing hide and seek and not doing a great job of it. This looks very Grecian to me. And this little armadillo, I think that's what it is, has his little house up there. I'm not sure how he gets into his house, but you know, whatever. <laughs> that's a really cute picture. I like this little gnome guy here. I think this would look really cute in shades of blue, but also really cute in uh, various rainbow uh, colors. An astronaut mermaid, because why not? whales in the light bulb. I know that isn't, but it looks like a bowling ball to me. <laughs> the mushrooms on a snail. This one, the line art, is a little bit more delicate than some of the other ones, but it looks like a goblet of flowers under glass. She definitely would be interesting. And for this, because there is so much black space, um, I probably would find a quote or a passage that I thought that would fit to this, just because I like filling it up. And because of the circles, it makes me think that uh, this is a rose underwater. This would be really interesting if uh, colored so that the lanterns look like they're lit and floating up. 
And I got this after Olga Rani's Prompt of Boat, but then this I think would have been a really interesting color page for that. In fact, when I look at coloring books right now, I can see a lot of pictures that could have fit for prompts that she's had. That's how my brain works. I don't know why this makes me think of the UN, but it does. But it's a moon mushroom forest and you're gonna pick it. I see the mushrooms and I see the moon, but there's this ladder. This would also be another a cute one for Olga Rani's Share a Smile. This little galaxy I think would be interesting if you did some uh, galaxy elements on the back here. And then this, I, I would imagine, uh, would look spectacular, colored really sparkly. She looks to be in one of those terrariums where she's hiding. I don't know if she's just hiding behind these big flowers or if that's her hair, but it's a really cute image. I think this is like a lotus and that's rain or a waterfall over the trees. Pretty sure that's how rain works. Oh, and the sun up there or an eyeball with some lashes. <laughs> Uh, this page makes me think of Doodle Robot because there's an alien and she lives in the desert and there's an alien. <laughs> this little cat is having his best life uh, unbeknownst to him. There's these giant koi fishes just ready to eat his face. Yeah, I just did a flip through of that uh, Dark Side of the Fairy Tale coloring book. So yeah, that's where my brain went with this one here. This one looks like a waterfall and there's a little bridge action going on here. A pyramid in a lotus in a jar. It's kind of Inception <laughs> right there. A lemon house with tiny little people who wear lemon or citrus things. It's actually a really cute swing. And a pitcher. Oh man, can you imagine if that just all got poured out? You always have to rearrange your house. And you've got this little, well, she's not a mermaid. She's more of like a squid maid, a jelly maid. Jellyfish and squids are, are different things. I think that's more of a jellyfish thing, but yeah. Got this little lizard, and I think he's in the foreground. And then he's <laughs> looks it, it, actually, it looks like he's photobombing this kind of village back here. I'd imagine this is somewhere in Italy or Greece. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, I know you spent thousands of dollars to come visit my home, but look at me, aren't I cute? And then you've got this uh, gem narwhal with the jellyfish and a land of french fries <laughs> you don't know you don't know <laughs> and then the house on the top of the hill well, at least there's a boat it makes me wonder what's on the other side of that island though is there a mcdonald's <laughs> and then we've got some daisies in a cup and a jar again very inception Oh, he's cute. So I don't know if that's a magic carpet or if he's on the top of the trees, but regardless, it's a very cute. Although that looks like a flask. So maybe he's drunk. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's some Johnny Walker or some vodka or something. And yeah, he's just chilling, just chilling. This is a really cute. This looks like um, one of those little either lipstick or nail polish that little girls get. And it's this cute little couple. And you guys, if you've seen my recent completed pages video, you know how I feel about that. But I like that they're on origami uh, swans. That's what it looks like, origami swans. That's, that's just a really interesting image to me. And again, the house is dreaming of this. So this might be a house somewhere in the city, but what it wants is the country life. Very interesting imagery. 
I think this one would look really cute colored in with greens and pinks and then something about um, moms and babies or something about love as a text quote there. I think that'd be really interesting. Just a very simple and straightforward tree, although based on how the leaves are, these are gems. A house in a bottle or houses or apartments. A genie in a bottle, although it looks like he's a little decapitated <laughs> because of, of how that black band is. Tree and roots, that looks like a, a syrup. Oh, so maybe that's like a maple tree. Oh, are those maple leaves? <laughs> that looks like the Canadian flag. Yeah, it's a maple tree bottle thing. And you've got some ice cubes going in a volcano. That's not going to end well. The tree in some flowers. That's actually not a tree. That's a house in some flowers. Mother Earth holding Earth. <laughs> I guess she's just called Mother <laughs> holding Earth. And You've got a lighthouse and octopus legs and some water and a path down. I mean, it's very interesting. But I guess the body's underneath the water. And I'm not sure if that's water or if that's cliff. And I guess it doesn't matter. It's my coloring book. This little marshmallow Luigi guy, because he looks like Luigi, but he also looks like a marshmallow, and he must have a really hot day because he's sweating all over this village. Yeah, that's how weather works. <laughs> and that's the end. She does have uh, several other uh, coloring books. She actually does have flip throughs on her channel of her various coloring books, so definitely go ahead and check them out. Uh, but this is from Amazon, a collection of jars by Camille Bell. Definitely go ahead and check out her page. Definitely check out her Amazon uh, various books. I'd love to know if you have this coloring book. And that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.